from this 737 MAX rolling off the runway in Houston to a tire falling off a jet leaving San Francisco and smashing this car. The turbulence for Boeing continues. Monday morning, at least 50 people were injured on a Chilean Airlines Boeing jet flying from Sydney, Australia to Auckland, New Zealand. Witnesses say it nosedived for a couple of seconds, slamming passengers into the ceiling. Several were taken to the hospital. The airline says a technical event caused the, quote, strong movement. It's a time to ask ourselves, is there anything that we should be doing different, either as an airline or as an OEM or from a regulator's perspective, you know, from the FAA's perspective. This latest incident comes as the air industry giant continues to face fallout after a door panel blew off mid-flight in January. You don't have any words of assurance for customers who are too scared to fly on a Boeing plane? We believe in our airplanes. We have confidence in the safety of our airplanes. Boeing CEO expressing confidence after the Alaska Airlines incident. But now the company says it can't find documents related to the door plug opening and closing. The chair of the National Transportation Safety Board has accused Boeing of being uncooperative with the federal investigation. Boeing needs to cooperate in every respect, and the FAA has given them 90 days to show a comprehensive plan on how they're going to turn their quality issues around. It's not immediately clear what technical event caused the Chilean plane to nosedive. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.